What could take oil prices lower from here? Because the U.S. is leaving no stone unturned in doing that, whether it's you know, asking OPEC to release more oil into the market or asking more oil to be released from strategic reserves from countries like India, China. Uh, or for that matter, even, you know, the, the conversation is on with Iran. I don't know how that takes shape, but if those supplies come in, things may cool off. But, but what would be that trigger that will lead to a sell-off in oil prices, you think? It's both timing and all these factors coming together. Very good mention, uh, uh, mentioning of this, uh, these factors. Um, it is, it's a both supply and demand is growing, and it's just the demand is growing faster, recovering faster than demand, uh, than supply, causing the current market tightness. But as time goes by, particularly we enter the fourth quarter of, of uh, 2022, um, and there, there will be a, a demand slump, uh, seasonally, even in Asia, flatting, flatting out. So that will be, I mean, and the trigger will be, will be the beginning of the year, and uh, um, the, the Iran issue has been has been a sort, sort of a pricing already, at least for now. So the question for for Iranian uh, oil is mainly for next year. So that's that's very uh, uh, very very uh, important. So if if any, uh, China is already releasing uh, strategic petroleum reserves based on the schedule of the past month, uh, but further uh, release will further help the market. I would say the trigger will be the beginning of the year. Um, so to to see that the the oil price to ease. Uh, actually, we think the price has already uh, reached the peak, uh, mm. going flat, and uh, so the, tar the trigger will be, will be again at right. beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, yeah. You think Q1 of 2022. The market right now is is looking so elevated and is contributing so much to inflation. It's such a sticky issue for inflation. You know, what would be the right range for oil prices to settle in through the course of 2022? You think, with both demand supply forces at play. Right, a very good, very good question. Uh, for 2022, uh, uh, given you know what I said earlier, so the supply actually will will grow faster. You know, considering the non-OPEC supply as well, we see at least on the on the on the total levels, supply grows um, close to seven million barrels per day. I would say, it will be higher than like uh, four point. Uh, 8 million barrels per day we see for uh, demand. So there will be a little bit ease of the market. So we are looking at, um, uh, you know, the, the range is um, surrounding maybe the May 70s, uh, maybe a, a little above uh, uh, May 70s. So depending on which season, I, I would say uh, 75 to $80 uh, range uh, will be what we see next year compared to, uh, com compared to the current state on the market.